This quick tip is where I'm going to apply a fog overlay using Nick Collection Colour Effects. I've got my composite ready, but now I want to add some atmosphere and to do that, I'm going to apply that fog overlay. I'm going to come up to Filter, Nick Collection, choose Colour Effects. I'm now into the workspace of Nick and I'm going to scroll down here on the left hand side and look for fog. I'll expand that view and I have three choices, strong, medium or light. I'm going to choose strong because I want that strong atmosphere through this image. If I come over to the right, I can play with the method, intensity, shadows or opacity. Method is where I can choose where I want that fog to place and I'll just scroll down and have a look what I think will work for my image. I'll choose method one. I can play with the intensity, but I'm happy with this. So I'm now going to click on to apply. Once I click on apply, it will apply a filter overlay on that layer. Now I'm happy with that atmosphere and it's exactly what I had in my imagination. But I feel the little girl has lost her colour contrast. So what I'm going to do is brush off the fog off the little girl. To do that, I'm going to click on a mask. I'm going to get my object selection tool. Then I'm going to draw a square big enough to select the little girl and it's selected now. I'm going to get my brush tool, make sure the foreground is black, and this is where you experiment. The opacity is at 37. I could put that up to about 43, 45, and let's see what that does. So I'm going to come in here now and just brush off or mask off that fog on the little girl and now she's got that pop of red color coming through that I had in mind. Once I've done that, I'm going to deselect Control D and let's have a look at the image now. It's got atmosphere, it's got that pop of color and I now can continue on with my workflow. This is a quick tip, have fun being creative.